You know, like that crib shell? That's not this, but what we are gonna show you is my kind of sledzilla, my monster sled. I have spent way too much money and way too much of my time for something that I don't use enough. But here's the deal, when you are ice fishing, you don't wanna get stuck and you don't wanna have nice creature comfort. So we're gonna show you, again, a little bit of my OCD insanity that is the ultimate ice machine. So we've got, first off, I've got a fan cooled utility sled. This thing's 11 foot long, it's cooled by a fan, so we can run this thing on hard ice, which is often what we get. We don't get a lot of snow on there. I had the guys at Burt's Custom Tackle make me a little mount off of a hitch. So I've actually put a hitch receiver and a whole bumper system on this deal. So I've got this all stainless and aluminum. We've got some lights, which we'll show you in a second. Oh yeah, of course we have an auger holder here with a few extra tie downs, some eye bolts to secure that. So anything from a little six inch to a 10 inch, auger up. I put some wheels on this thing. We got wheels down here. These really are almost a necessity. These, you pull this out, it'll drop down. You go through the parking lots, you're gonna chew up your, your carbides, you're gonna chew up all your stuff. So that's a, a big deal. We got these lights here, we'll have to come back and show you that. Or how about, boom, we'll just turn them on right now and show you. Boom. Now, why do I got them out to the side? Everybody knows about the light bars. Yeah, we've got lights up here, but when you're driving down the sides of cracks or just that stuff that's outside of your vision, these side lights are super huge for being able to see what is maybe better or worse ice conditions and also just in the open area so we can see everything, especially if you're putting our shafts and stuff. So the side ones are super, super important. Come back to the console. Got not one, but two GPSs. I've got a nine inch and a seven inch helix, which is really important because then I can have one zoomed in, one zoomed out, and I've got different mapping. I've got Lake Master on one, and then I've got the Hummingbird base map on the other, so I don't have too much clutter, and that makes a big, big difference. So I saw little creature comforts here, like I've got a plug for my snowmobile helmet, so I can have a heated helmet, it's kind of nice. We've got side lights. You go, why do I need that? It's a little bit of vanity, but truthfully, when me and my buddies are rolling and we go out to the side, they know I've got blue lights. Nobody else I know has got blue lights. So they can identify that that's me. And also just a, from the side, you know, somebody when it's really dark and it's got snow conditions, it's another way to be able to see you. So it really is a, it's a little vanity, but honestly, it's also a safety thing and ID. So when we get into the machine, we've got some crazy, this is where the craziness kind of starts going. I've got a spud holder that's easy to access. It's kind of like ice picks. If you have one, that's great, but you need to have it and be able to easily assess it. And so this thing just slides right out, but we put it inside of a aluminum tube. So there's no way for that thing to be lost. And then once we get in here, this is where some of the crazy starts. I've got this thing wired. So I got a little battery tender that I can easily access. I don't have to have this machine. I can do it from inside outside. We've got a giant battery. I had to modify the whole inside of this thing in order to put a battery that literally is made for a Jeep Wrangler. And I've got a distribution panel, which is completely full. We've got six things wired into this. And then I've got a switch set on the outside. So my tools and that are in there, but here's the deal. Right there, I can shut off all the power really simply because a lot of these things, even if they're not running, have a draw, believe it or not. And especially in the off season, I wanna be able to turn that off and I don't have to get into anything if it's snowing, raining, or if it's in my trailer, which is a big deal. High quality battery switch makes a big difference. Now we go back to my big box. I've got this with floating milk crates that fit just perfect in there so I can put three buckets, I can take them out, put big cases in there, whatever it may be. I've got tie downs that I threw bolted everywhere on there so I can attach stuff to keep these things in. But here's where it gets a little naughty. This is the secret compartment, folks. There's no waste of space in this sucker. So right in here, I've got my chains, I've got my extra clips, I got my tow ropes, first aid kit, extra oil, just about any kind of safety type thing that you know you should carry, but you don't, you don't make room for it because you want more tackle. We got both. So this is out of the way, but yet I got it. And then as we move back around, I kind of did a really cool deal. This is the new Lakewood uh, Greenback. And I really simply just made some clips here that I can take this thing on and off, but guess what? It cannot come off. So, and I'll put one bungee on that to secure it when I'm moving, moving. But that way I can take this thing on and off. I can take it right in my shaft or what have you. But this is kind of like my mobile tackle box slash rod storage. So if you haven't seen our videos on that, make sure you check those out, but there's a bunch of them out. Now it's really important that we secured this all to the top. So I've got all these tie downs, but they're on the lid. And that's really, really important because now we can still get into here. This is where I keep an extra flasher 
during the season. I keep my tackle and stuff like that, whatever it may be. It's gonna be nice and, uh, and dry in there or your snowmobile helmet in the off season. I've got some little straps here. Normally put a horse shovel on there. That way if I gotta dig out, we can do that. And I'm gonna show you another deal. You guys all hooked up your shanty. You can stay right there. Got a light. So you go, why do I need a light back there? Has anybody ever hooked up their shanty or anything else or trying to get their hitch pins when it's pitch black? I have. You got your hands, you don't have light, your gloves. Boom, so we put a light right back there. And also when I'm backing out of my trailer, I can turn that on. I can see, baby. And I'm gonna show you, we'll show you completely in a different video, but this here is a nifty little deal. It keeps me from getting all tied up in my track. So we'll show you a little more uh, on that later. How could I forget my scratchers? I got some high pressure scratchers that work in forward and reverse. And that way when you're in bare ice, we're gonna kick some ice up, some chips up, so we're not gonna overheat our machine or our runners. That's kind of the quick overview on my ultimate sled build. Actually, you know, we got one more thing. Safety first. We've got the little Nautilus there. You pull that, get you a little lifeboat. It'll actually float you and the machine and the whole deal. So really all this is about safety. It's about a little bit of vanity, but it's a lot of, a lot of you know, just security things to keep you going. The GPSs, all this stuff put together. My ultimate sled build. It took a long time and a bunch of money. It wasn't the smartest thing, but it is super cool.